But what about sending a manned spacecraft further than we've ever gone before? How fast would we need to go if we wanted to send astronauts to Mars? It's possible to get to Mars with uh, a chemical-only approach, but it is not very practical. It's not practical because it takes so much fuel just to get us up into space. The analogy is the analogy of a car. When you get going in a car, you start in first gear. You need a low gear to get going. And that's what the chemical rocket brings to you. First gear in the space shuttle takes it from zero to 17,500 miles an hour in eight and a half minutes flat. On its climb through the atmosphere, those boosters on the side are burning 10 tons of fuel a second. It's that kind of power that's needed to accelerate the space shuttle to 17,500 miles per hour very quickly. Within two minutes, all of the energy is released from the solid rocket boosters, and then they're thrown away, which is very similar to a, a first gear and a transmission of a car. The space shuttle main engines are then releasing, uh, for another six minutes, release all the energy that's stored in the, uh, the hydrogen and oxygen, the propellant that's in the external tank, and so all of the propellant that's on the space shuttle is used up within eight minutes. And when the engines finally shut off, the shuttles consume nearly 1,500 tons of fuel. Once you get to Earth orbit, you achieve orbital velocity of about 17,500 miles per hour, and then there's no more propulsion needed to stay in low Earth orbit. If you want to leave low Earth orbit, going to another planet, another more efficient use of the propellant is needed, which would be similar to third, fourth, fifth gear in your transmission. And those who know space think it's time we take exploration into overdrive. And this former astronaut is ready to do just that. No one's been to space more than former astronaut Franklin Chang Diaz. He's logged more than 1,600 hours on his seven flights aboard the space shuttle. If you want to go to Mars, it'll take you today about eight months with a chemical rocket. Such a mission would be highly dangerous. Dangerous because once beyond the Earth's protective magnetic field, the astronauts would be bombarded with deadly high-energy radiation. In space, you need to give astronauts a fighting chance. And for Chang Diaz, that fighting chance means speed. Lots of it. Chang Diaz is working on a new engine that could hurtle us through space at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour. It's called the Magnetoplasma rocket. Any rocket works on the principle of action and reaction. You shoot material at one end, you get pushed in the other direction by the action of the material leading. Diaz's rocket funnels superheated plasma through magnets to produce thrust. And thrust means speed. What makes it go very fast is because it's so hot. The particles inside a gas or, or a plasma, in, in our case, are moving very fast. The magnetic field aligns these particles so that their movement is all going in the same direction. And that gives you the rocket that, yeah, that you want. Because the plasma is so hot, the atoms are moving at tremendous speed. The magnets in the engine align those speeding atoms and shoot them out to create thrust. So much thrust that with the magnetoplasma rocket, Chang Diaz thinks we could make trips to planets like Mars routine. With this technology, we could get to Mars as fast as 39 days. But for now, the magnetoplasma rocket remains in development. Chang Diaz hopes to have it ready for testing in space by 2011. Our first test will be done on the International Space Station. Things will happen very quickly after that. I think that person that um, is going to walk on, on Mars is already alive somewhere. Hopefully he's here in our team. 